Okay guys, <laughs> my running shoe here. We're just gonna put that down. I need to adjust you a little bit. Okay, so I just got a package. I'm super excited about this. I'm super excited about a freaking water bottle. But this is a half gallon, I believe. Yes, half gallon jug is what they call it. A half gallon water bottle. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to track kind of not track my water. We're going to follow my journey with this giant water bottle. I get asked a lot about how does hydration and hydration goals fit into intuitive eating and not having food rules. And the answer is it absolutely does. So I really wanna show you like the real life application of that with this jug, right? So with this video, I am really excited about this. If you're excited about this, if you've thought about this before, hydration and intuitive eating, be sure to let me know in the comments if this is something that you're interested in and give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you are new here and you're ready to learn more about intuitive eating, food freedom, no food rule goodness, because that's what we got here. Okay, so this is what was recommended to you guys. I was actually deciding between this and a hydro jug, but honestly, this was way more affordable. When you take into consideration that I want a straw, I would have, I don't know how you work this. I'll figure it out later. But that just makes me drink more water. So I got this at Target. It was like 15 bucks. I'm really excited about it. It's Elo brand, which I've heard really good things about. So I'm excited to, to do this. I suck at drinking water, you guys. And the biggest thing for me is that I feel a difference when I'm actually hydrated. So that's my motivation to do it. But I'll explain that more along the way with this video. But really, it's how, I don't know, Am I, is this gonna be too much? Is this gonna be not enough? Is this gonna even help me with my hydration intake? I'm gonna take you guys along with me and fill you in on that. If you're wondering more about how much water do we actually need, I do have an entire video that breaks it down for you. So I will link that up there and in the description. It really breaks down how much water do we actually need in a day? What counts as water? All of those things. But in this video, I just really want to make it kind of more like vlog style. We'll follow, am I gonna pee every five seconds? That's one of my concerns. Do I feel better? Does it motivate me having a bigger thing versus like smaller water bottles? So yeah, I'm excited about that. So that's all I got for now. I'm gonna go wash this and I'm just gonna keep my camera like in the kitchen. It's gonna be one of those kind of types of videos. I've done that a few times with like snacking, weekend eating, and you guys have really liked those. So we're gonna do that with this one. So I'm gonna go get to washing this and figure out how it works. I'm so not savvy at things. Okay guys, so today, sorry about the change of light, is my first full day with my water bottle. Finally figured out. <laughs> how to actually use it. Let me show you, let me show you, let me demonstrate. Okay, so this little thing, that brings that back, just in case you guys get this water bottle. What? Guys, can you hear that? No, Alexa, please stop talking. Anywho, this is how you, I think, lock this button. So you can't do that. We're gonna unlock it, because I want some. And then it's got this. A little caring thing. So I really like it so far. It's super, super easy. Okay, so, but one thing I noticed today, I feel like there is markings and it does kind of make me kind of think like, okay, you know, have I drank water recently? But here's the deal. Right now, I, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just having so many interruptions. Yeah. You scary puppy? You scary puppy? Okay, back to the water. I really want, I have, let me grab it, these Aldi sparkling waters. I kind of like to have one of those in the afternoon. Oh my gosh, that dog. I really like to have one of these in the afternoon. That's also hydration, right? So it's not, it's with these, you have to be flexible. So, I mean, if I don't finish the whole thing today, I'm also having this in addition to that. Like we have to be flexible and understand that like maybe, I, what am I trying to say? I think the biggest thing is that you use this as just kind of like, okay, you were having some, we're offering it throughout the day, but you can deviate, right? And if I get to the end of the day and there's still some in there, like other things do count to your hydration intake, like coffee actually counts to your hydration intake. I'm gonna have this, which counts to my hydration intake. And I'm not gonna deprive myself of what I truly want in order to just meet some obscure thing like drinking a whole one of these, right? Maybe I will still finish it all, maybe I won't, but just moral of the story, just be flexible with things and don't take it as 
no rules guys, no food or hydration rules. So just my two cents, I wanted to let you know that. Hey guys, okay, checking in here with my water bottle. One thing that I noticed, I do pee a lot more, I feel. So I do feel like I'm drinking more water, which is a plus, and I feel like I do feel more hydrated. Again, a plus. So there's a couple things that I wanna talk about. So that is, I feel more hydrated, which is positive. The second thing is that, okay, the numbers on the side, like mine says 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m., blah, blah, blah. I noticed that like nine, for instance, it was like 10 a.m. today. I'm like, blah, blah, getting mumbo jumbled. It was like 10 a.m. today and I hadn't like, or maybe it was like 11 and it was like way above the nine o'clock, right? Don't let that, like we can't, try to necessarily stick to those because we do also have to listen to our body's own cues. And what I found that my body would take the water that it needed. Sometimes I would go like from nine o'clock to 11 o'clock in one like, I want to call it like drinking session. So moral of the story here is that you tr don't try to necessarily like stay on track with it and adjust to what makes your body feel good, right? Yes, it is kind of be like, oh, you know, I haven't drinking water in a while, let me drink some. That's okay, but we don't want to, like I said, make, make it like a hard and fast rule of like, I have to stick on this time schedule because I've noticed that my body will do its thing throughout the day and sometimes I will have a larger amount of water. Like it's not a gradual drip thing throughout the day. That's kind of, if that makes sense. I think that's what I'm trying to get at here. The last thing that I wanted to just check in with is to remind you guys, I don't know if I've addressed it yet, is that thirst cues are like hunger cues. So if we ignore them for so long and we're in a state of dehydration, we kind of get acclimated to that and we lose our thirst cues. So something like this could help you if you're trying to get your thirst cues back, making sure that you're giving your body enough hydration so that you can actually get those cues, right? That is something that we can kind of lose. I definitely experienced that, but now now I do have those thirst cues. So that's just my check-in. Little tidbit of info for today. All right guys, so I still have my water on. So I wanted to check in one more time just for this video about some things that I have noticed. So I noticed that there was one day where I definitely, I feel like I have finished this most, most days, but there was one day where I definitely didn't finish it. I had a good amount left. And what I noticed was that the next day I drank more. So it's just, again, kind of, just letting yourself know that this is not, like you do not have to stick to this time timeline. For instance, right now, I've like honestly hardly drank any and I don't know, it's like nine, I don't know, 9.30 right now when I'm filming this. Definitely not even hit the nine o'clock mark, but I'm not stressed about that. So just remember, it's more of just kind of like a visual of kind of overall picture of things as all things are you guys, right? It's not a, you know, like I said, it's not a continuous necessarily drip throughout the day. This could be a more over time thing. For instance, if you're like, okay, I don't finish this every single day, then that could be something like, okay, let me check in with myself in the morning and see if I can't add a little bit of water there, right? And then also always notice the differences that you feel, right? So me, I notice a huge difference in my skin if I'm hydrated. So noticing those things, right? How are your hunger and fullness cues? Do you notice them more when you're actually hydrated? Are they more clear? There's lots of things that can happen when you're actually hydrated. Like I've said, our bodies are a huge amount of water. They like water, they function well when we have water. So that's just some things to take into consideration. But I'm gonna link this water bottle again, guys. It is, it's supposed to be 15 bucks from Target. It's really great, it's Elo brand. Really loving it. Love it. It's just, it just kind of makes it a little fun. So oh, I feel like there's one other thing I wanted to tell you guys. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know, I'm blanking. But yes, yeah, so I love this. Oh, I remember the last thing I was gonna say. So the last thing I was gonna say is that I posted about this on my Instagram stories. And so I was originally deciding, I think I told you this, between this and a hydro jug, but this was a lot more affordable because I wanted the straw and I would've had to purchase the straw separately. And then there's also like a case that a lot of people say to get, but this was a lot more just kind of like one shot, boom, done. A lot of you guys had said that like, Ooh, I kind of relate those big water jugs to kind of like fitness and kind of like diet culture-y. So that just, I mean, I totally can relate to that. And I kind of had that thought too. I was like, ooh, is this like, they kind of remind me of like, you know, gym bros, you know, trying to, again, like drink X, Y, Z amount of your weight, dull your hunger cues, whatever. My goal is always to help you to take back anything from diet culture, right? Whether that's food, whether that's wellness, you could, I guess you could call this a wellness tool, whatever, but to really start that disassociation. I think it really depends on the why behind your choices of things. So me, my why is this helps me drink water. I know I feel better from that, not trying to dull my hunger cues or anything like that. Just kind of make drinking water more fun, right? 
So that's just something to think about if you're kind of watching this and you're like, ooh, that feel like I, I feel like all these people carry those around. You're not alone with that, right? I definitely kind of had that thought too. And that's, I think also kind of why I was drawn to the LO one is I feel like there's a lot of, and not that I'm saying anything bad about Hydrojack by any means, but I think that a lot of people who do use them maybe for more diet culture -y things, I've seen them use those. But so I just thought this was a little more, more I don't know, less diet culture -y, even though again, it's not that it's diet culture -y, it's just that sometimes certain things have like ties to it from what we see on social media. And honestly, it was from Target. So it was a pretty easy order and it was more affordable. So that was my kind of why behind it. But I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, I'll link to this in the description for you guys if you want to snag one too, but let me know if this was helpful. And again, I'll link to that video where I talk more about like hydration needs, why we need it, what it does, how much in the description. But I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know if you liked it. Give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit the bell. If you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe so you get new videos every single week on intuitive eating and food freedom and all the things. Okay. So I will see you guys back next week with another video. I'm going to go get to drinking. I actually have to pee. So I'm going to go do that, but I'll see you guys next week.